Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech, my own custom mod pack. And in today's episode, we're going to start off by making ourselves a new hammer. We've got some cows growing over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room yet. That's still yet to be decided. But the sugarcane farm is coming along nicely, as is the wheat farm. Everything is going quite well, I must say. Um, also, I built myself an energetic infuser and a flux capacitor, and that's going to come into play very, very shortly. Now, let's go ahead and turn the power on the reactor down so it's not burning through quite as much power, and more specifically, the fuel. That's what I'm more worried about. Now, I've got eight cobalt sitting in my smeltery, and it's time to make ourselves a much better hammer because as much as I have loved this iron hammer with a diamond on it and it has served us well but it's time for an upgrade my friends it is time for an upgrade so I've got all the parts ready to go we are basically going to go a cobalt hammer head because it's the fastest and then all the rest of the parts are going to be made of paper because that will give us a whole bunch of extra modifiers. Uh, a total of six modifiers on that thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply this redstone flux capacitor to it. Which will then give it 4 million RF for durability. Which means this thing can go for a long time. Uh, there is a config option to choose just how much. Uh, normally. Flux capacitors of certain sizes can only be fit on tools with certain uh, durability. So, for example, you wouldn't be able to put the uh, whatever one this is. Which, which one is it? The... Here we go. The redstone flux capacitor. Usually wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to put that on a tool that was pretty much all paper. However... In this case, I have disabled that config file option. I've always found that one kind of silly that I could, uh, you know, affix a certain flux capacitor, but not the one I want. So I decided to just go ahead and disable it. Uh, so now that that is taken care of, it is time for me to do, well, a whole lot of mining. I have a lot of mining to do. So guys, I'm going to go and get to mining. Let's test this out. How fast is it? Eh, not not that fast. It's it's reasonably fast, but it's it's not that fast. Okay. Well, once I get some redstone, we'll make use of some of those uh, upgrade slots, and then then we'll be able to really have a hammer going. So let me get some mining done, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a little while. Hey guys, and welcome back, and I have been very, very busy. It's about, I don't know, probably two hours later or so. Um, I've been mining and doing some other stuff, and uh, I've also been getting wrecked by Enderman. So, took what I, th I think it's my first death, but uh, we'll go get our stuff back. It won't be that big of a deal. Ooh, chicken jockey. Uh, get him, get him! Okay, we got him. He's good. We're good. Okay. So, we'll get some of our levels back. Not much. Uh, you know... You know you've been busy when you die and you still have 30 levels left over. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that death point since I have gotten my stuff. And, uh... Ooh. Looks like our chest plate's pretty much toast. Yeah, actually, we took... No wonder we got wrecked. Uh, I was out here looking for ender pearls, and I got four. I was hoping to get one more, just one more ender pearl, but I couldn't quite get it before I died and before the night was over. So I guess I'll have to get the other one next time, but uh, that is going to allow us to do something very very important and that is to can i make that i can make that oh i can't make that ow um and that is to make 
a safari net, a reusable safari net to be specific. And uh, what we can do, I don't know, I should probably look it up and find out if you actually need to use a reusable one. But there's a mob spawner that I'm going to need to be building very, very soon. Um, although I suppose before I can do that, I need to get my hands on some way of generating mob essence before I can start generating ender pearls galore and stuff. So maybe we'll hold off on that for now. Let me get some of this stuff out of my inventory. And then we can get into the real reason that I came back. So, um, whatever. Just go. Just, just, just go. Just leave me alone. Okay. Um, leather. Okay. So, there's a few things that I want to make. Uh, basically, we're going to be doing some major upgrades to our gear. So, let's go Traveler's Gear. This is from Tinker's Construct. And let's make the gloves. And we'll also want to make... Is it the belt? Yeah, the belt. Because that's going to be super, super good to have as well. Uh, let's grab some of this. We need a chest. And actually, I think for some of the other gear, we need some wool too. So the belt, we'll make one of those. And then... Swimming is always good. I don't really need the zoom ability because I have Optifine. Uh, but I do want the Step Assist, which you get from the boots. So, now we can go ahead and equip a good portion of this stuff. Not all of it, but a good portion of it. It looks a little derp right now, but that's all right. And then these will give us some pretty nice upgrades. Um, especially once we get into here and start applying some redstone to it. So, we can do crazy amounts of redstone on these things. Like that. And that will basically give us... All sorts of nice upgrades. Uh, it'll help us break things much faster with our hands and all sorts of other cool stuff. The other thing that I really need to get done, as far as equipment goes, and this is a very important one, I have hiding in my bag at the moment. Is it this bag? No. I think it's the... Yeah, the gray bag. I have some new tools and new tool parts. It is time to make ourselves some decent tools, all around tools. I've, I spent plenty of time mining, so I finally can afford to do so. So let's go ahead and we're basically going to make them all out of the same thing. It'll be cobalt for the tool head and then paper for, well, everything left. That is the plan. So there we go. We've got ourselves some nice stuff. And then I've got floor, four of these redstone flux capacitors, just like we have on our hammer. And these are going to give us some pretty OP tools. Four million RF on each one for durability. All sorts of upgrades. And cobalt for the mining material. The, yeah, these, these are going to be some pretty... Pretty good tools, and these should last us quite a while. So, um, I think the excavator's probably going to be the priority, and we don't really need anything on it other than just redstone. So, let's go, uh, let's just take half of that and turn it into redstone dust. And we can just go through this 50 levels at a time until we hit the cap of four modifiers, and that's going to make this thing mine crazy fast. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, I think, for all of these. I'm trying to think if there's a reason to not do it. Maybe, maybe I'll hold off on doing it on the pick, but for sure on the shovel and the hammer. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done, guys, and I will be right back.
All right, guys, I am back. So I've got all of these upgraded except for the pickaxe. I've decided that I'm going to make this cobalt pickaxe my end game pickaxe. But for now, um, I do want to get. Did I just? I just put all the redstone away. I do want to put some redstone on that other pick as well. So let's just grab some of this stuff because this one is. Also pretty much good to go. It just needs a little bit faster mining speed, and then it will be a pretty pretty solid Fortune 3 pick. And that's basically what this is. It's all about the Fortune 3. Now, I'm out of modifiers, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a diamond and a gold block to give it another one. And then we can throw another level of haste on it. It's still not cobalt level by any stretch, but it is a little bit better and it will be much faster than it was before. So that should do me pretty well. Now let's take a look at these gloves. Okay. I still have a lot of room for modifiers on those gloves. Holy cow. All right. Let's knock that one out too. Just like that. Oh man, baby. This is going to be, this is going to be quite awesome once this is all said and done. And redstone is the only modifier that you can put on these traveler's gloves. So you might as well max it out on the redstone there. There's nothing else that you can even use on it. So we'll just do that. And uh, one more. Oh, two more it looks like. Almost done. There we go, and we'll just go like that, and finally, I need one more redstone block. And the other beautiful thing about these is that these do not take damage or durability, so once you've got them, you've pretty much got them, and I think they might even stay with you if and when you die, but take a look at this. This is my bare hands, and I can mine stone. I can mine these bricks like it's nothing, you know. Look how fast that dirt goes away. That's crazy. Let's test out our shovel. How's our shovel? Pretty much instant. Man. Oh, now I can really get some stuff done. That is fantastic. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much all the time that we have for in this episode. We've got ourselves some new gear. It's time to get some mining done so that we can, uh, well, actually, the mining part of it's probably pretty much done, but I think it's time for me to get some preparations done so that we can work on a mob farm in the next episode. I think that's what it's time for. Uh, I'd really like to get an Enderman farm going, but I think before we can do that, we have to set up some other form of mob farm as well. So let me get to work on that, guys. And uh, that's going to do it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.